Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Alone and welcome to another episode of Old School Road to 100 Million Clue Scroll Tab. So, I actually got a really good advice in my last video when I started this series, which was you should sell all the stuff that you can mix up in the tab with like Slayer loot. So, I put the Slayer loot here and then I took out all the things that I've got from Clue Scrolls, including the rune stripe type down and all that. And these items will never mix with Slayer loot. Uh, so I keep them here forever and I'm going to sell all of these items that can as I said potentially stack with slayer loots and I will make them into platinum tokens and then I will put them into this uh, clue tab so I can always track how much it's worth. So I'm going to do that right now and let's see how much it's going to be worth. So 1.1 mil and I'm going to turn them into platinum tokens. There we go. And then these coins I'm just going to have to skip. I mean it's like nothing. 200 GP. And I'm going to put all these tokens into the tab. I'll uh, put them as the first one and there we go 1.5 mil almost tab and uh, yeah I won't stop until this is 100 mil. So I'm back to Slayer again and I just got my first casket but I'm not going to open it yet I'm going to put it in the bank and I really want to get 85 Slayer in this video so I'm going to do quite a lot of Slayer and uh, that means a lot of clue scrolls so I'm going to get back to you guys when I have a bit more than just one casket. I actually got a totem that I wanted to use, so it's going to give me another hard clue as well from this Godotso boss, and I just wanted to record here to show you guys what the loot from this Godotso kill is. So, rune plate legs, three of them, and one ancient shard, so maybe not the best one. So as you can see on my Slayer counter here, I've done 34% of the Slayer experience required to get 85 from 84, and that is like 100,000 experience. So in that I've got 6 hard caskets, so I'm going to be opening them now. And every single item that I get that I can potentially stack with Slayer items, I will just instantly sell, and I will put them into Platinum tokens, and all the unique rewards I will just put into the tabs. Let's start this. First one is 130k, quite pretty much all of these items I'm going to have to sell in the GE. Oh, Armadol Chaps, that's 500k, yeah, that's one of the items I can actually put into the tab. So when has the uh, Purple Sweets and the Fire Lighters, so that was a pretty good one. Oh, oh, it's not worth that much. Master Scroll Box empty. I actually don't know what that is, but that is also a Master Clue and Armadol Brazers, or Brazers. Okay, what is this? Open... Uh, is this teleports I can stack here? Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Is this, uh, can you trade this? Oh, you can! 50k. Okay, that's another unique, so two uniques actually, and the Master Clue in the same. It's going to be really interesting to actually do this Master Clue as well. It's probably going to be, uh, uncompletable, but uh, if there's any close or pretty nice, uh, goals I can go for to complete it, I will definitely do that. So, this was actually not bad. I feel like this was worth quite a lot with that 500k clue right there. Pretty much 1 mil in, uh, in value. So, I'm just going to sell... Well, I can just begin with putting all these items in uh, that were uniques. Which is these items. I guess the master clue goes there as well. The purple sweets. That. And I think that's it. So, all of these items I'm going to sell now and put into platinum tokens. 300k, not bad. Let's turn them all into platinum tokens and put them into the bank. And I have now a 2.6 million clue tab. So let's open this and see what the first step is. Edward located... Oh, I can actually do this. Pretty cool. This is actually the third step of this master clue. The two first steps were really easy, but now I have to talk to Sherlock and this is probably where I'm going to get a huge requirement. So let's see what the requirement is going to be. Hopefully I can uh, do... Okay. 88 smithing. Holy shit. I have 51. Okay. That is going to be insane. I most likely cannot do that. There is actually a way to get 88 smithing pretty fast, but it's going to take a lot of money to do that. And I don't actually have that right now. So I just dropped the master clue, but I do have two hard caskets again to open. So let's open the first one. That is worth 77k, so not really the best one. And the second one is... 181k, so the Rune Kai Chill G is also something we can put into the tab, that's going to look very smooth. I think this is my second shield left half, by the way, from Bloodvelds. Uh, that is pretty interesting, uh, not really useful for anything, but hey, it's a rare drop. Wait, 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 hold up! <laughs> 20 kills later, I get another shield left half. 
Okay, I think Bloodvelds love giving these to me for some reason. I have no idea why. Oh, I just barely missed it. I just got 85 Slayer. Huge milestone. Actually, what I've been trying to get for a really long time. And I actually got a lot of random weeds from this as well. But I'm going to also open two caskets, I think. Two hard caskets. So let's do that. I actually had three caskets to open. So let's get them open and have the game chat on so I can see how much it's worth. Oh, first is... Oh, okay, that's not that much worth. I thought the ancient play body would be worth way more. Um, second one... Oh, that's a page. 115k. Uh, one of the lesser worth pages, I guess. Let's open the last one. And... What? Nunchako? That is not worth a lot, though. So, probably not that rare, but... How much is this? That's 3k or 5k on the GE. What, <laughs> what even is that? I've never seen that. So I'm going to keep doing Slayer and I'm going to show you guys every single assignment that I get and then complete it and do whatever hard clues or whatever clues I get in general from that assignment, but I won't show that. I will just stack them in my bank and then when I finally get an Abyssal Demon task, I will complete that one, hopefully try to get a whip from it and then after that open all the clue scrolls and then get on with other stuff. So hopefully I can actually get an Abyssal Demon task in this video. If I don't get one by 10 tasks, I'm going to uh, stop doing Slayer assignments. So anyways, let's see what the first one is going to be. Dagonoths. That is hard skip. I really don't want to do that because I don't really do the Dagonoth Kings at all. So Fire Giants, let's do this. All right, second assignment. Let's see what it's going to be. Hellhounds. That is very good for clue scrolls. I actually only got one hard clue from that, but I completed it. And the third one is Ankus. <laughs> very easy one. And get another one. Black Dragons. Extremely easy. Oh, on the second to last kill, I actually got an elite clue scroll, so let's see if I can complete this one. First step is actually a quest requirement, I need to do in aid of the Mire queue, and I also have to uh, do parts of uh, Darkness of Hallowale, so it's not going to be actually that bad, so let's get into it. Okay, I've done this quest a few times actually, especially on RS3, but I forgot how annoying this quest is. It took such a long time, it took me probably an hour to do this quest, but that is the in aid of the Mario queue completed. Experience is nothing special at all, but two quest points is pretty good for the recipe for disaster requirement. I need 168 for that, so I'm pretty close. But now I just need to start uh, Darkness of Halloway and I think maybe do one or two things, and I should be able to complete the step of the elite clue. So yeah, pretty much only like 5 minutes of this quest and I could get here, so that is the first step completed. What is the next one? Uh, Castle Wars Bracelet, a Dragonstone Amulet and a Ring of Forging. Uh, I have no idea what a Castle Wars Bracelet is. Alright, here we go, I have the casket, so let's see what the reward is going to be. Have to have the game chat open for the value, let's see. Oh, that is not very good, 126,000. That is a Dragonstone Bracelet, oh well. Okay, halfway point, fifth assignment, what is it going to be? Obiso Demons! There we go! Okay, so I don't have to do 10 tasks, I'm just going to do this one, quite a lot of them actually, 173. And uh, let's uh, hopefully get a whip, that would be insane. Oh my, okay, I have 53 KC left, and I get an Abyssal Whip on the ground. 2.5 mil to my Slayer tab, I'm not going to sell that just yet. That is freaking beautiful. So with that whip and the Abyssal Demon Tiles completed, I have a 7.3 almost million Slayer tab, which is pretty cool. And also I have three hard caskets to open, so let's get those open. That was two from the Abyssal Demon Tasks and only one from the other previous tasks before it. So let's see what this is going to give me. 100k for the first one. And the second one also pretty mediocre, 85k. And the last one is 89k, so... Nothing too special there. So this is not live commentary, but I completed the Legends quest. It was a very long quest, but the reward is pretty nice. It's like, uh, I think 7,000-ish experience four times in a skill of your choice. And I choose agility because that skill is a pain. Yeah, 7,650 experience times four in agility. So I got quite a lot of experience in that. Also, I now have every single quest requirement for Recipe for Disaster. The only thing that I miss is, I believe, five quest points to be able to do the quest. And then I will get the rest of the points from doing the quest. And uh, I can then get Barrow's Gloves. So that is going to be a goal for the next video. But for now, this is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. There you can see four quest points and access to the Legends Guild. Also, by the way, after this, went and bought the uh, Legends Capes. I have that. I don't know if it's very useful, but at least I have it now. So that's pretty cool. But 
yeah thank you again for watching and i'll see you in the next one guys take care